And Kristen Chenoweth is one of the busiest people in show business and one of the most talented. I sat down with the petite powerhouse to talk about everything she has going on, from a role in a new hit movie to her big return to Carnegie Hall and so much more. Check it out. You're the only one who knows what it feels like to be all alone, misunderstood. <gasps> You're the evil to my lethal. <laughs> I can see why they call you Gabby. When she got the call to lend her voice to the new animated sequel, Rio 2, Kristen Chenoweth thought she would have feathers. Instead, she plays the sassy and evil amphibian, Gabby. <laughs> It only works when I do it. Okay. I assumed I'd be playing a bird. <laughs> and right. I see this little pink, little tiny frog with eyes on the side of her head, and I was like, I'm in. <laughs> I met Kristen for lunch in a fun chat at SD26 in the Flatiron District. She told me how she approaches voicing an animated character. You have to forget that no one can see you. But you, I like to approach it. What's the spirit of the character? Rio 2 is one big party, including a fun soundtrack mixing original tunes and classics like this. Got all my life to live. And I've got all my love to give. And I will survive. You will survive. I will survive. We will survive. I'm a survivor. Kristen's busier than ever. On May 3rd, she's performing at Carnegie Hall for the first time in a decade. The show, called The Evolution of a Soprano, will cover the span of her career, along with some surprises. It's just really the evolution of me since I was a little bitty a child to me now as a singer. And that will bring in music that I have not sung in many, 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 many years. I started in church. I was a you know little gospel singer and then country music and then opera. So it and then Broadway, so it will entail all of that. Anything pop, any pop hits that you'd like I to throw I think there in might there be some or... disco, so really? just calm down. Oh. She has lots of great music to choose from, like Broadway tunes from shows like Wicked. I'll show you what shoes to wear, how to fix that hair. Everything that really counts to be popular. I'll help you be popular. To one of her studio albums, like 2011's country record, Some Lessons Learned. Some stars. That had some better endings than some bad times I've been through. Many of her fans were surprised when Chenoweth revealed she's battled asthma for more than 10 years. Kristen partnered with the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America for a PSA to help the 25 million Americans with asthma. Asthma is unpredictable and an attack can occur at any time. That's why I count on my rescue inhaler with a dose counter. It keeps track of the number of doses I have left. I'm asthmatic too, so I know how much of an impact a star like Kristen could have in terms of awareness. You know how important it is. I mean, imagine not being able to get your breath for those mm -hmm. people that don't have it. And then to reach for your medicine and not have it anymore. Yeah. And what about Glee? We couldn't let her go without asking, have we seen the last of Kristen's boozy, floozy April Rhodes? I just did the 100th episode, which aired, I think, two or three weeks ago, which was fun because getting to go back and seeing these kids that I knew before they were them, you know? Yeah. And being with them, that's what makes me happy. And playing that role, I mean, April Rhodes is, she's, um, she's a hot mess. Yeah. And it's fun. But it's great. It's so fun. I could have spent so much more time with her, but now uh, you can get ticket information about Kristen's show at Carnegie Hall on our website, wlnytv.com slash the couch. A little tidbit for you guys. Uh, Kristen is actually from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, a small little town, mm -hmm. you know, that nobody ever hears about, except my brother lived in Broken Arrow, and I told her, and Whoa. we were just talking about, um, she goes back home a lot to do a lot of community work and um, to help out the schools there and the arts programs. When I told her, it was like her face lit up, you know, it's always nice it's to hear somebody connection. knows yeah. about your home yeah. so yeah but she was just lovely so definitely check out our website if you want to check her out at Carnegie Hall it's going to be an awesome show